my name is Thomas Simons. I'm 21 years old and I'm training to be a professional MMA fighter. I watched live when Chris Weidman knocked out Anderson Silva. I was like 11 or 12 years old and like me watching that and being like, wow, like a guy from Long Island, like not far from me, same sort of background is able to do this, like why can't I? I started wrestling when I was about eight or nine. And after my freshman year of uh, wrestling for Nassau Community College, the pandemic happened and our wrestling season got canceled. And I started training at, at Law MMA. Hey I mean, the beautiful thing about this place, I think, is the culture. Tom, who's just a nice kid, comes in here, everybody's nice, everybody's respectful. It's not like they're relying on one or two people. There could be 20 people that could help them, and everybody helps everybody, which I think is fantastic. Tom right now, look, he's just starting his journey. So what I like about Tom is uh, he's a nice kid. He listens. I watch him spar. I watch him in the class. And he's just, uh, he's got great guys to train with. And he's surrounded by great people. Law well, MMA is so great because there is so many high-level pro MMA fighters there. Like the guys that are already in the UFC. But also, like, there's a bunch of lower level pros that are like right there, like on the brink of being in the UFC. You know, some, some people just have an hit factor, you know, makes you want to watch him compete and train. Uh, he's definitely one of the hardest workers in the room, and you can tell that he's got, uh, you know, a good brain on him too. He's a smart kid. Something about him, uh, you know, makes me want to take him under my wing and kind of help him out. He's in the gym every day, doesn't complain. Anything you ask him to do, he does. Um, and, you know, that kind of mentality, you know, he's a humble kid too, so that kind of mentality will get you a long way in the sport. I could say for sure, like, he's probably one of the hardest working people I've met. He's here every single day, twice a day even, and knowing how far he lives from here, I could tell just how, like, determined and motivated he is. He's here two, three times a day, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't miss, he doesn't miss a lot of workouts, and you can see with how much he's progressed over the years, and, I mean, I think there's big things coming for the kid, big thing coming for a lot of us here. I mean, what it is, is like we train with the best in the world, so, I mean, we have all the skills and all the opportunities here. Tom has aspirations to go far in MMA, so it's all about putting those minutes together, making it count, and coming out with the hand raise. I think he's got a lot of skills, and I think once he gets some experience in competing, he's going to be he's going to be a handful for just about everybody in the flyweight division. The guys that I do train with on a daily basis, they're so influential on me. Like the competition I'm going to be facing. Like, look at look at my training partners. Look at who I am being coached by. Like, there's no way that they can match it really. I'm fighting for Jackhammer Promotions. Uh, the event is called Fist of Fury 5, and it is Sunday, June 26. From the way I look at it, all you can do is try your best, put one foot forward, um, have little goals in mind to get to the bigger goals. And I think Tom's doing that. I think that's really the only way you can hope to achieve anything in life, quite frankly. Everyone can help you, and you have to be able to grow from that, but you're the one that's stepping in there, and I think. Uh, I think Tom knows that. As long as his mind's in the right place, he's gonna do a great job. I think he's well prepared for him. I've, I've been watching him. He's got great sparring partners. Every, all of those guys are looking good. So he's, he's on the right track. He's training the right way and he looks great in sparring. And that's all he could ask for. I'm anticipating that walk on Sunday just to feel right. Like I've been working so hard for this for such a long time. There's nothing I'd rather be doing you know, I want to become a world champion. I have, you know, the posters of all the guys in the UFC and above them, the world champions. And like, to be on that part of the wall, like, it, it means everything to me, honestly.